Hey, what's going on guys? I want to start the video off by giving a big thanks to the Guzz from the Auto Geek forums for sending me 303's new Quick Wax product to test out. And the Guzz is all over all the different detailing forums, posting up great content and reviews, and I always enjoy going through them and reading them. And that's the great thing about the online detailing forums is you've got guys like the Guzz that are putting up a vast amount of information about a wide variety of different detailing products. And so with the 303 Quick Wax here, it's getting hammered in its initial reviews, and I can tell you exactly why that is. This does not have the slickness that many of the other spray waxes on the market currently have. And reading the back of the bottle here, you can see that it provides a 30-day UV protection. It has a light cleaning ability to safely remove some light dirt or dust or water spots. It's safe to use on trim. They don't recommend it for use in full sunlight. And it goes for about the same price as Ultimate Quick Wax, right around that $9 to $10 range when it's not on sale. So I've paired them up together for the water test. I have the 303 Quick Wax on the right side of the hood and fender facing the car here. And on the left side, I have the Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax. And so if you have a product that's lacking in slickness, you're expecting it to make up for it in some other area like water beading or even durability. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of guys like Sonax Brilliant Shine Detailer because it's not going to give you that slickness, but man, the water beading is just way above any other spray sealant on the market for the price that they sell it at. And right away in the water test, you can see that 303 Quick Wax does not have the water beading performance of the Ultimate Quick Wax. So it's already lacking in both slickness and water beading. And so if I was coming out with a new spray wax in the consumer market, one of the things that I would do was take a look at the competitor products like Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax here and the Turtle Wax Ice Spray Wax and figure out why it is that people like using these products so much. And then during the testing stages, you got to figure out, you know, are people going to want to grab for the 303 Quick Wax over something like the Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax, which goes for the same price. Now, where these products differ is the 303 advertises that cleaning ability and also the 100% silicone free formula. And those two factors are not going to be very high up on the consumer list of things that they're looking for out of a spray wax and in the more experienced detailing environment that are not around a body shop setting there's absolutely nothing wrong with silicones and formulas and the only guys who have to really worry about certain silicones are the body shop guys who are in a fresh painting environment I mean if the overspray from the silicones gets onto the paint it can cause fish eyes but once you're out of the body shop setting there's nothing to worry about and so one of the big reasons why I like using quick waxes and spray waxes is I get that refreshment of the super slick feeling paint surface because that's something that you lose after the first couple washes, especially if you're in a hard water environment like Florida. And so while I'm maintaining the gloss and the protection of the base layer product, I definitely want to revive some of that slickness back into the paint. But one of the things I noticed is it seemed like the slickness got a little bit better after the first 24 hour period. But we're going to be looking for something that's slick immediately after applying it to the paint. As you can see, many of the consumer base spray waxes that I have here. I have the Turtle Wax that I've worked with, the Eagle One Nano Wax and Wax As You Dry, Lucas Speed Wax. I mean, these are all going to give you that slickness. So it's a very crowded market. And it's even more crowded when you get into the enthusiast market. And 303 products are definitely sold on AutoGeek that also sells a lot of the Optimum line, the McKees 37 line, Blackfire, Sonax, Pinnacle. I have Prima also up here as well, which is really good and I enjoy working with. And as you can see here, I've got tons of products that I still have to get up on video. I'm going to try and do one, at least one video per week and see if I can keep on that schedule. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video review. Uh, for the 303 guys, I think if you added some slickness and maybe some better beading into the quick wax formula, it's going to be a lot more competitive against other products. And once again, big thanks out to the Guzz for reaching out to me to allow me to test the 303 Quick Wax. I always love testing new products. So thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next video.